now. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. Ahoy there! My name is Wifey Well, but you may call me Wifey, and today we're back playing some more of Fallout 4. Last episode, we uh, looked around the Adam Cat's garage, picked up a quest which has led us here to the Warwick um, homestead, which may or may not be a settlement. I'm assuming eventually it will be, but uh, we had just got here, spoken to a very creepy man, and then, as you can see, our husband, Preston, has something he's very eager to discuss with us. So let us see. What's on your mind? I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to Conkers, and we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. Um, do you still feel that way? You don't still feel that way, do you? No, not at all. That's what I wanted to talk about. My point in all of this is that, well... You saved my life. And not just by saving us from those raiders and conquers. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sappy, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. And don't you be friend zoning me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Romance. All right. This is what I've saved. Let's do this. Have you ever thought about us becoming more than just friends? Have I ever? You mean you've also? Hold on. You kind of caught me off guard there. Let me start over. If you're asking if I've ever thought about you romantically, the short answer is yes. Oh, this is great. Where's the popcorn? I'm getting so excited. I mean, I know he's gone, but you still seem to be in love with your husband. I didn't think you were ready to move on. Husband smusband. You're my husband now. I love you. I don't have to stop loving him. To be able to love you too. Really? That Don't you interrupt him talking? Okay. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Preston, you have gained the United We Stand perk. Okay. That's fantastic. Wow. I uh. Well, I don't really know what to say. Ooh, a lover's embrace. I'm just happy knowing that what I felt, that it was real, that it wasn't just in my imagination. You're gonna have to give me a minute to just enjoy this feeling. Okay, well, you enjoy that feeling as we absorb the radiation from the sky. Oh, husband, it's baby making time. Is is that the sounds of the lightning and the thunder clapping, or is that something else clapping? Oh, that's really an. <laughs> I should say. Okay, come. I should say. All right. It's just so stupid. Preston, get in here. I want to talk to you more, but not out there. Come on. Hey. Go ahead. Um, uh, talk to me, husband. I've Damn it, this isn't enough. Let's talk about our relationship. Feel about us? I'm a lucky man, having you by my side. That's it? How do you feel about our relationship? I'm not sure if men and men regulations cover our situation. What are your thoughts on our relationship? I hope you already know that things are great. I have no complaints, at least. Well, that's lame. No, never mind. Okay. Uh, I'm never going to get the love I want. Well, maybe Kate will be, will be our lover. Our new lover. Our, our wifey. 
because um, I know there's a lot of Kate fans that are watching. So we might have to hang out with Kate next. Actually, I think I told people I would, so. Um, let's let's check out these um perks. Hold on. So I got. Uh, it was ah, it was this one. Thanks to your relationship with Preston, you deal plus twenty percent more damage and gain plus twenty damage resistance when facing three or more opponent. Interesting. Um. I wonder if it's I always have 20% more damage or the 20% more damage also is only when there's three or more opponents. And then there's the Lover's Embrace, which can I sleep here? Can I sleep in any of these? Da, 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 da. Maybe this isn't a settlement because this place is already pretty built up. I don't see them letting you take over all of these, but maybe. I hate how the rain is still like seeping in. All right, let's talk to everybody in here. Oh, you're the creepy guy. Bill Sutton, who looks very depressed. Hey, I didn't know what we were gonna do. He's still very depressed. Cedric Hopton. I like your name. Got some supplies I can offer if you're interested. I like your pink lipstick. Mrs. Warwick, got a few things to trade if you're interested. Lord knows it wasn't always that way. Okay, uh, tell me about your tough times. Sounds like you've been through some tough times. Yeah, some super mutants came through and tore the place up. We damn near starved to death. Anyway, things are better now. Just look at the place. We've got everything we need. I'll say this. If you want to start up a farm out here, you better be ready to fight for it. Um. Worth fighting for. The important things are always worth fighting for. You're right about that. The only thing more important to me than this farm is my family. How about you? Got any family yourself? I have a new husband as of one minute ago. I've got a son. Sean, I lost my husband. Oh, I I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have asked. I hope I haven't reopened any old wounds. Oh, they're they're gushing. You should be. Wait, mm, this would give me experience for passing, but like, why would I be this much of a jerk? It's okay. You you couldn't have known. Well, it's good of you to say so. I think I've embarrassed myself enough for one conversation. Why is it embarrassing? I hope you'll visit again. Take I don't understand. Like, that's just a, how could she have known? And just like they said, how could she have known? And it's just asking basic questions when you meet someone. You're like, hi, how are you? You know, are you married? What's your job? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, Do don't you need my help with something? For a while, but now we've got plenty to trade. Interested? Sure, let me see your poo-poo food. I'll take a look. Sure. Plenty? Oh boy, a ratty skirt. Just what I've always wanted. Hey, a kid! I have a lot of food. I used to only eat once a day. Hold on. Hold on, child. Where's everybody else? So, is this the son of... Creepy guy and June. You have a lot of toys. Really nice lately. I didn't used to. Maybe he's a synth because he's very creepy. Not you, I mean the dad. I mean you're kind of creepy. Oh, he's a synth. He is definitely a synth. Did you see that teleporting? This is a synth farm. Mom's a really great. Wait, Janie? Oh, an older sister? Honest opinion, and I figure you've got no reason to lie to me. Sure, what is it? What's your question? My question is, do you think a person can change? I mean, really change, like deep down. Hmm. Okay, in real life, do I think a person can change? Uh, 
I, in my experience, no. But let's be kind of ambiguous and just be like, sure, in some circumstances. Not usually, no. But in the most extreme circumstances, people are sometimes forced to change. I think you must be right. My dad's a good example. He used to drink all day and he never did any work. And then one day everything changed. He stopped drinking completely and started to work really hard, sometimes long past sunset. He suddenly seemed to care a lot more about what happened to the farm and to us. Honestly, it was nice. Uh, how come? What do you think caused him to change? Did something happen? We ran out of food after some super mutants wrecked the farm. We almost didn't make it. I think it woke him up, you know? Snapped him out of it. I guess I just wanted to know it was normal what happened to him. Thanks for helping me sort things out. You talked to one random person who's definitely not normal. And now you're like, okay, I'll take your opinion as the word. The, the, the most important word. I don't know, your dad is creepy as hell. I'm thinking he might be a synth, but we'll see. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. You people are the synth helping people, right? Or not? The railroad, what did they say? Hmm, I'm suspicious. And a picture of a moose? Next to some candles. Suspicious. This whole place is suspicious. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be fixing a water pump. Where the heck is it? It's in there? Wait a minute. Hold on. I see I see the green square. Um Okay. Oh, we should save. We should save since we made a, a baby with Preston successfully. Okay. Install part. That was it. Tell June Warwick about the fix. Where's my husband? There he is. There he is. Hi, Sonic. Let's go. Mrs. Warwick? Wakey, wakey. Oh, she... Oh, this is... <laughs> this is relatable. Time for school. I saw you working in the pump shed over there. You saw me yeah, with what? Meow. Oh, we're meowing. Meow. Oh, um, I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? And that was... That was so cringe. That was amazing. Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Adam cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. Oh boy, poop food. Seek my thanks. My alert cakes. Return to Rowdy. Well, this was so easy. How was it so easy? The meowing was so cringy, though. I can't. I can't handle how cringy it was. Did Preston see me meow? I mean, okay, Rowdy, where are you, Rowdy? You were not in there for once. Okay, where does everybody sleep? Oh, oh, okay, there's a square. All done. Yes, ma'am. This is dumb? Why would I say that? Yeah. And did you know about the terrible smell over there? Whew. Why do you think I've been putting off going back over there? Seriously, who builds a farm at a sewage treatment plant? <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. Hmm. June said you guys help out at Warwick a lot. When we found this place, they helped us get on our feet. Gave us food, you know? Didn't even ask for nothing back. 
and we've been cooking up a plan to get that pump working again so we can flush out that grody sludge <laughs> as a way to say thanks. Don't go spilling the beans that the Adam cats have a heart or something. Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. So she had to, what? Spill, to spiff up the Warwick pump. <laughs> Should we rustle her jimmies with something else? Gunners. Okay, but first off, before before we before we handle this, she said, "Okay, so they're like, let's repay those stinky people across the way, and be good people." But yet she's been putting it off because of the smell. But yet when I go over there on her behalf because of the smell, now she's saying she's gonna go over there anyway and check my work. Well then, Rowdy, Miss Procrastinate and Rowdy, why the heck didn't you just go over there yourself? <sighs> now I gotta fight some gunners. Gunner conscript. Oh hell, I'm I'm out. Nope, forget it. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, green? Gunner commander? Oh, there's some grenades. Oh, this is bad news. I wonder if anybody here can die. You dead? Uh, gonna be sick. Who's Blue Jay? Oh wait, Blue Jay is the one with the poetry I liked. What was that about? And what's that about too? I helped minimally, as is my specialty. Yes. Hey there. A hep cat like you must have a few cats burning a hole in your pocket. Or a centipede. Oh wait, I have to pick these up so I don't break the game. Wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. You get? Oh, you slayed! Because me? You, we didn't lose a single cat today. I did nothing. But you're welcome. If you say so. Whatever you say. Well, I say you are righteous, out of sight, and with it, and an official friend of the Adam Cats. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah? Finally, the holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Cats jacket. Wear it well, Jay. Ooh. You're not grown plated, you're not with it. Pop yourself a power on the jack. So I'm a friend of you guys now. Huh. Oh Jesus. I thought it was dead. That startled me. We could use a few more suits around here. Wait, you're are you giving me another quest? Hey there. You wanna spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Adam Cats have the most far out mods this side of the apocalypse. How'd you I, uh, end up here? Used to run with a raider gang a while back. Just didn't know any other way, you know? Well, one time a raid went wrong and I was left for dead on a highway somewhere. Zeke and his boys found me while looking for spare parts. Took me in, fixed me up. Ew. Are you sure you're fixed? Of my skills. Now I stay, because I know these knuckleheads wouldn't leave me like that. Okay, well don't break your neck. Don't need anything today. Jesus. That was really creepy, ma'am. Please don't do that ever again. Um, 
So is that it? I mean, that's all y'all wanted? Maybe I need to talk to Z. I just feel like all this was too easy. Huh? Hey, remember Jack, as an Adam cat, you are a beacon of cool in a world of not cool. Hmm. Okay, thanks for the reminder. I guess that's it. Question mark, I I guess. I Okay then. Well, I guess we should go back to our settlement building then. Um, I was gathering glass though, and I did get told of a place that has a lot of glass. Let me recheck what that comment said. Okay, so I was told about the Bean Town Brewery, which I looked it up, and on the map it's like right here. So let us. Dang it. I didn't realize this place hadn't been discovered. I was going to say, let us go here, but I mean, it looks like there's a path here. We could go here and um, visit that Beantown Brewery. Because um, we need glass. And we also, with the Mirelurk hunting, I was told some places to find Mirelurks. I was also told that I can go back to the Westing Estate and refight those Mirelurks, which I've already fought twice. And that um, I can get some of that soft shell meat off of any Meyer Lurks. It does not have to be a specific type, which thank the goodness, thank goodness for sure, because I, um, I, uh, super mutant suicider. Um, what am I saying? I, was going to be in big trouble otherwise. Let's let them go that way. Hopefully I'm not going that way. I guess I should have put a thingy there. We're going the opposite way of the super mutants. Thank goodness. So I was told this is a good place to find a lot of bottles and such and that really there's just a few raiders. And beyond that you know, it should be easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. Is that the brewery? Oh, I see somebody. Are you a friendly friend? He's green right now. But if we get closer, is he going to, like, engage in combat? I don't know. A curfew? Uh, curfew? Sure. All right, I'm going. Cooperation acknowledged. Thank you. Attention. Attention all citizens. I'm going home. Don't mind me. Oh, shoot. Ah, damn. Preston, help. Oh, he's got skills. Oh shoot, I'm almost dead.
Well, this isn't too bad. Just gotta watch my hull. All right. Phew. So yeah, the plan is to get at least some glass bottles. Then we shall return back home. Work on our roof, which I had so many helpful suggestions on how to make that happen. I had people make videos and such too to help me and I just appreciate all of that so much and I'm feeling semi-confident that I'll be able to pull that off. Which I normally feel not confident at all, so semi-confident, that's pretty good. These trash bins, the last trash bin we checked had 50 caps as well. Anything on the outside that I should be aware of? The back entrance as well as the front entrance. Hmm. And this is not an entrance. Okay, nothing. Alright, well, I guess we're going to be doing this place next time. Hopefully it all goes well and we can get back to our settlement building content, which I know you guys really seem to enjoy. That's going to be it for this one. So as always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I will see you again very soon. Bye!